It's simple, it's refreshing, and it is very easy to make. Let me show you how to make a Japanese style whiskey highball. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Ma, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making something simple, something refreshing, something very easy to drink. I'm making a Japanese style whiskey highball. Now, if you're ever in Japan, like I lived in Japan for a few years, and you go to a lot of restaurants, particularly restaurants called like Yaki Niku, I'll put a picture of that style up there. It's like where you get like a little barbecue in front of you on the restaurant and you kind of cook meat as you go, you will see highballs on tap. Like I'll put a picture of it up there again. There's draft highballs. Like you'll just go in and say, oh, highball kudasai, highball please, and they'll just pour you a whiskey highball. The idea of these whiskey cocktails is that they're not hard to make. They're very simple, very easy to enjoy. There's enough kind of water in them from like the sparkling water that it keeps you refreshed. It keeps you hydrated so you can drink a lot of them and you're not going to get a hangover, but it's still like an enjoyable, simple enough cocktail to drink. The point of these cocktails, again, isn't that you use the fanciest whiskey you've got in the world to make it because you're going to be using a lot of sparkling water, a bit of lemon, so you're going to be diluting the flavors of the whiskey. So you want something that's it's going to taste like whiskey, it's going to have a bit of flavor that delivers, but it's not something that you'd really want to save for a special occasion. And that's why I'm using the Suntory Toki. Now, if you watch the review of this whiskey, there'll be a link up there, a link down below. Like, this is a solid little Japanese whiskey. There's nothing really amazing about it and in the middle of the palate there is like a little bit of a, a harsh note to it but there are some nice kind of citrus kind of flavors to the whiskey that do go well in a highball and again i'll put that picture back up there you can see that that like the draft the highball draft tap is actually using the suntory whiskey because that's kind of where this is cocktail whiskey is aimed for it's aimed to be a, a cocktail whiskey one that you use in cocktails, especially in highballs, and you kind of lengthen it out and it does soften that little bit of a harsh note you get in the palate, but the little bit of citrus works well with the lemon and the sparkling water to kind of give you a nice flavor that again is refreshing and super easy to drink. And that's, I think, enough talking about this super simple cocktail. I think it's time we make it. I'm gonna be building it in the glass because I don't have a draft tap for cocktails here, but maybe sometime in the future I will. I'm gonna start off with our whiskey. Like I said, this is the Suntory Toki, but you can use kind of whatever light-ish whiskey you like using. I wouldn't use like an overproof bourbon or anything super strong. Something light that can kind of fade into the background that's not gonna overpower the cocktail is what you want. So this here is the Suntory Toki, and I'm gonna go in with 45 mil or an ounce and a half of it into our glass. Just like that, like I said, you don't want something super strong to overpower. This is supposed to be easy to drink. Next up, it's our sparkling water. Plain and simple, this is just San Pellegrino who's at the store. Use whatever kind of sparkling or soda water you want. Pretty much up to the top of our highball glass, but we're not fully finished. Like this is just whiskey with soda. To actually make it kind of a little bit more refreshing, you do put a little slice of lemon in there. If you want, you can squeeze it, but I like just having the slightly subtle kind of flavor of the lemon come through. Give it a quick little mix with a straw. And that right there, plain and simple, how I make a Japanese style whiskey highball. Now real quick, before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whiskey reviews like the review of the Suntory Toki every week. And I put out cocktail recipes featuring whiskey every Friday. So if you want to see those, make sure you're subscribed. But now let's taste this cocktail. Oh. That takes me back. That It really does it taste and smell. They're those kind of senses that do take you back like in your memories and do trigger memories. This is definitely one of those things for me because I, where I lived in Japan, it was, you might be able to see it up there, it was Nagasaki. That place, it's really, really hot. It's really, really sunny. And I'm a very pale little Irishman. So when I was living there, any chance I got for something refreshing and cold, I took. So when I go into a restaurant at night, like it will still be really humid and really hot. So something like this, fantastic. Really just kind of like chill you out and cool you down, but it's very refreshing. The little bit of the whiskey does come through. Like I said, it is a lighter whiskey, so it's not overpowering, but it's not also fading into the background. Like the whiskey has a little bit of smokiness to it because it has a bit of peated whiskey in there. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of sweetness, but that harshness I was getting in the palate, it's, it just fades away, it's kind of diluted down. You still get that little bit of the earthy note from the whiskey coming through, but just very nice. The lemon is just adding like 
you again like i said you could squeeze a lemon in there and make it almost more like a lemonade but this here it's like it's a highball it is refreshing it is drinkable the lemon just giving a little bit of extra citrus a little bit of extra tang just in there just to make it a little bit more refreshing so i think i'm going to keep on enjoying this if you've got a favorite style of highball maybe you use a flavored sparkling water maybe if you use a different whiskey or a different citrus let me know down below but i'm gonna enjoy this one cheers <laughs>